Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Now I just want to put it out there, I'm not paid or endorsed to say anything in this video. I'm just trying to put out a video that I wish was out there when I was buying headlights for my third gen Tacoma. If you guys appreciate the video and want to see more like this, just subscribe to the channel. It only takes a second of your time. And let's jump right into the video. These are pretty much going to be the last headlights you're going to have to buy for your Tacoma. These are the Katana F2-H11s. And they're essentially the Supernova SV4 for a fourth of the price. And I've had them in my truck for about two and a half years. So I can say these lights are great value. And for 150 bucks, you can do your high beams, low beams, and fog lights, which is cheaper than buying just one set of the Supernova SV4s, which are like 200 bucks a pop. This is with the high beams on, high beams off, floodlights on, off. Just look at the, look at the difference there. Compared to the stock lights, not even close. And all right guys, just so you can see what the cutoff's gonna look like, um, as long as you've got your projectors angled correctly. So this is what the cutoff looks like with my low beams. This is high beams. And then this is low beams with the fog lights. And as you can see, there is a little bit of light that's projected up from the fog lights. But as you can see, there's a nice clean cutoff and there's really not much of the light that's projected much higher. So if you're looking at this or at least an oncoming driver, you really don't have any issues. And then just the high beams again, look at those things, incredibly bright. And honestly, maybe at some point, I'll pop out uh, three of my LED lights and I'll put in three of the original halogens, just so you can see the massive difference between the two because it's like day and night pretty much. You know, with the halogen bulbs, it looks like the lights are barely on. And these guys are pretty much exactly just like the SV4s, except for a fourth of the price. So I strongly recommend them. I've had them in my truck for about two years, nine months now, and they've been pretty much flawless. Now, the only one I've had issues with is that passenger side fog light, but I'm pretty sure that's just because of all of the big puddles I go through that usually have salt water in them during the winter time or during the summer. Usually around here, it floods pretty bad when we do get those torrential downpours. So, you know, I'm driving through a foot of standing water at least. And, you know, that's all just getting kicked up into the fog light. And eventually over time, like anything, it's going to rust. And honestly, these are probably five times, ten times brighter than stock. Like, you can see way farther. And because, at least on my 2016 Tacoma, I've got projector headlights. All right. Drop it. Sit. Yeah, she loves fetch. All right, so back to the video. So this is what you're going to get in the box. You're going to get a very small little Allen wrench, which will allow you to adjust this piece right here. So not the rubber piece, but... There's actually a set screw. So you'll actually be able to adjust it right here through this set screw on the headlight. And that way you can adjust this essentially exactly how you want it. And you're going to want these to be mounted vertically. So I'm pretty sure the way that they come out of the box is going to be exactly how you want them. But if you do need to make any adjustments, very easy. Just a simple set screw on here. And then what you'll get is two drivers for the LEDs. Now these drivers are, I believe, 36 watts. Yeah, so these are 36 watt drivers. And I wanna say that your stock fog lights and low beams are 40 watts. And then I wanna say your high beams are maybe 55 watts. Now I have seen, you know, there's 100 watt versions of these bulbs out there floating around. However, you really don't wanna run 100 watts through wire. That's the gauge that the Tacoma has. Because if you do, you have a very good chance of either blowing your fuses constantly or possibly melting some of the insulation on that wire, causing a short, and you know, you're just gonna be chasing yourself for days. And honestly, at 36 watts, this is all that you need. And these things are at least five times brighter than stock. And you'll be able to see things that you never were able to see before. Because honestly, those stock lights, going from a Civic SI that had LED projector lights to my Tacoma that had just regular halogen bulbs, it was like night and day. So all right, 
I'll probably walk you through the install, show you where I've got my drivers mounted so you can mount yours the same. And then I'm gonna be replacing my two high beams and then my lower two fog lights. Now, if you end up living in the rust belt like me and you end up going through tons of puddles and mud and salt, because of the way the splash guards are, they don't really cover the passenger side fog light as well. And because of that, sometimes the small bearing that's underneath this fan will end up getting rust on it and then you'll your fan will just start making a little bit of noise it doesn't stop it from functioning but it's just kind of obnoxious to hear so now as you can see obviously the driver's side gets a lot less salt and moisture exposure than the passenger side on the left is the driver's side on the right is the passenger side so you know if you are going to be doing anything like i'm doing Always take your driver's side bulbs and put them on the passenger side and then just keep the passenger side as kind of a backup just in case, you know, something does happen, one of your bulbs goes out and you just need to put a replacement in temporarily. And I'm in a super thin sweatshirt for some reason and freezing rain, so great time. <laughs> but this is what I do for you guys. So on the driver's side of the vehicle, I have both my high beam and my low beam driver right here. And I just have their connectors and as you can see bulb one and bulb two and then i have some very strong double-sided adhesive tape as you can see right here that right there is the driver for my fog light and it's been here for two years and hasn't budged if you want i can drop that link in the description if any of you guys want that and then we'll just jump over the passenger side now i've got one of my drivers mounted right here underneath this piece. I just find that was probably the easiest spot to put it. Then I've got my other driver right here for my high beams. Again, that double-sided tape. Been there for two years, have, have not had an issue. And then lastly is the passenger side fog light, which is right there. And I just have the driver kind of hanging on. I've actually got zip tied to the bottom assembly on the headlight. I don't think you'll be able. Actually, yep, you can see it right there. So that's the bottom assembly on the headlight, which I have the driver zip tied to. And as you can see right here, that spot right there is where all the mud and water comes in from your fender that if you go through a deep enough puddle, it will end up getting your fog light wet. And eventually the bearing that's inside the fan motor will end up getting some rust on it and then your fan will just start to make an obnoxious noise like mine is right now but honestly there's no real fault of the fan you know there's not too much you can do once you get the thing soaked and to hold the led light to the driver you've got this nice uh, screw on cap and then once you undo that there's your couple wires as you can see you've got a nice rubber seal right there so you don't have to worry about any water getting in and all that you need to do is just twist, pops right out, just like that. And as you can see, over two years, definitely get a little bit of salt corrosion compared to the new ones. And all right, guys, so these are the two headlights that I took out of both the driver's side and passenger side, respectively. Now, as you can see on the passenger side, this is canted off to the right, probably about 15 degrees from center. And over here, I have it a little bit less. And having these canted off to the side slightly allowed these to sit in my high beam housing perfectly flat, just like this. And all right, now I'm gonna pop out my bottom two fog lights, replace those with my old high beam bulbs, and then install my high beam bulbs in. Now, as you can see, this is my driver's side fog light. It is perfectly in line with the LEDs. After around two years, nine months, this LED sitting down in the driver's side fog light area, bearing still good, spins freely, no issues. Now this is the only one I've had issues with, which is the passenger side. And I think it's all because of that hole right there, which we come over here to the driver's side. There is a hole, but doesn't really seem like mud or debris really gets in there as easily as the passenger side. 
And right there's our crash sensors, just in case you wanted to know where they were located. There's one located right there, and then there's another crash sensor that is buried in, but you can see it almost. It's right down there where that yellow clip is. All right, let's do the fog light. Easiest way to access the fog lights is through the hole right here. You can just reach down, easily get to it. And then the exact same thing on this side, very easily reach down, get to it, no issues. Now don't mind these random wires right here. The whole reason they're as long as they are is so I can easily take off my camera, which has my lights, and I have a very convenient connector and everything that's housed up in here so it's protected away from the elements. But this way I can take off my whole bumper and it's very easily to access everything. I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I've got three inches of wire to work with, I'm gonna break something. So, all right, let's just take out passenger side fog light, which is right there. So I just gotta undo that connector. As you can see, passenger side fog light as well, perfectly in line with center. Does spin freely, but I'm sure if I open this up, I'm gonna see a little bit of rust on this guy. All right guys, just to verify for you, I'm gonna take out one of my low beams. And as you can see, my low beam right there perfectly in center line. So it's just the high beams I had to adjust. Now, before you end up installing these, what I recommend you do is you turn on the truck. And then what I'm gonna do is turn my high beams on. And you wanna make sure that when you're staring at those lights, it basically looks like you're staring at a mini sun. If they're installed correctly. Now, if one of them looks significantly dimmer than the other, you most likely have a defective LED. I have seen that before. Like when I, I remember when I ordered these two years ago, I did have one that was slightly dimmer than the rest. And it turned out that that one was defective. And now you can see the driver's side high beam perfectly horizontal, just like we want it. And then as I said before, that alignment, just have that off by maybe another five degrees difference than the passenger side. Now on the passenger side, this is how mine looks. On the driver's side, you know, it's gonna be the reverse, but just a little bit more towards the center. You might have to play around with it a little bit depending on how, you know, your alignment is. Also another useful tip for anybody installing these, it's starting to rain pretty good out here, but another useful tip for anybody installing these is you can actually see your headlight, what you want to do is kind of just push in and twist. That's a little hard to do with one hand, or I'm trying to film this, but just want to push in, twist, and just like that, nice and horizontal. And all right, so when you're installing the fog lights on your driver's side, just reach down in through here, and then what you can do is actually look right through this hole and very easily twist that in. Boom, you're done. And then I'll just have to put the connector. Yeah, I'll just have to join the connector together, which is right. Well, you can't really see it on the camera, but it's right here. Just have to join that. And then over here on the passenger side, very similar deal. Just reach in, fog lights. Let's see if I can actually. As you can see, fog lights right here. Pop it in, twist it, and then just connect your connector, which 
Mine's right here, and then as you can see, the driver's hanging down right here. Also, just one quick tip when you're installing the fog lights, connect everything first. So connect this to your driver and then install it because it's just a lot easier rather than trying to reach down in there and screw this in place. And also do the same on the passenger side.